Welcome friends. In this section, we will learn about permissive and risk transfer trip scheme. The direct and risk transfer trip scheme described above is made more secure by supervising the received signal with the operation of zone 2 relief element before allowing an instantaneous trip as shown in figure 12.5. The scheme is then known as permissive under risk transfer tripping scheme, sometimes abbreviated as PUTT, PUR, PUP zone 2 scheme. A permissive under risk transfer, a permissive under reach distance protection as both relays must detect a fault before remote and relay is permitted to trip in zone 1 time. So here you can see fault occurs, bus bar voltage low, so negligible fault current via and B. So this is another example. And A relay carries fault and current start feeding from and B. So this is one example of permissive uh, overreach transfer tip scheme. So this is the example where we have a generating source generator at one end only and if there is a fault F nearest uh, station A, the fault will, will be fitted by because this is the shortest path it will be fitted by station A only and there will be a negligible current through uh, bus B or station B to the fault because this, this path is very long. So first this breaker will open in the normal condition and as soon as this breaker is open the fault will be then feed all the fault current will be feed from the station B. So this is the example of uh, PUP scheme single and feed closer fault on double circuit line. So this normally happening this phenomena is normally happening you can see on the double circuit lines so this is the basically the logic diagram um, for this PUTT scheme so here you can see if there is a fault in zone 1 relay will uh, trip immediately the local breaker through zone 1 and it will send signal to the remote and and the remote end relay you can see the another diagram as soon as the remote end relay receives the signal okay and it's picked up in zone 2 in the forward direction this is the signal received and if it is picked up also in zone 2 in forward direction then it will trip uh, with the given time t as per the setting so this is example of transfer trip scheme. Here you can see uh, station A and station B. Uh, zone 1 here is Z1A whereas extension zone here is Z1B. A for station A. For station B, zone 1 is Z1B and extended zone is Z1B. B. Extended zone is normally set to 120% for the each line. So for example if there is a fault here near station B this breaker will trip immediately local breaker in zone 1 and at the same time it will send signal permissive signal to the remote station A that I have tripped I have seen a fault in zone 1 and I have made the trip at local station local breaker at station B and you should also trip because the fault is in front of me so as soon as this uh, relay at station a receives the fault permissive signal it will perform the check it will check the fault it is in also in the forward direction z1b if the z1b is picked up then this relay will also trip immediately at station a so in this way the relay at station A will not wait for zone to time which is 
300 to 400 millisecond but it will trip immediately so the same thing is explained here in this in this diagram so here if you see the logic diagram the station B diagram if the relay is picked up in zone 1 so relay will give trip signal after time delay of zone 1 which is normally 0 milliseconds instantaneous so relay will because this is OR gate the relay will at station B will trip the breaker instantaneously and it will give the send signal permissive send signal with the time delay TS which is also set to 0 millisecond normally and signal will be transmitted to remote end so the signal will receive at remote end because fault is somehow somewhere near to station A and which is in zone 1 of A but it's it in which and it is in Z1B of station A so the relay at station A is waiting it is uh, in zone 2 effectively so zone 2 time here is 400 milliseconds so zone 2 timer is start now it will receive a signal the station A the relay is receiving signal permissive signal and it is checking you can see this is AND gate so if the relay is, if relay is picked up in forward direction in zone Z1B so in this case the fault is somewhere here which is within the urban b the relay will be picked up in station at station a so both inputs are high so the relay will trip at station a immediately so the tripping time is now reduced for example if the scheme is not here in this case station relay at station b trips in instantaneously whereas station a the relay will trip in zone two time so we will see this is the example of permissive underage transfer trip scheme so we will see if the fault is behind in reverse direction of zone b in this case it will be in reverse direction so relay b will not pick up and it will not send any signal permissive signal to remote and to station a at station a the relay is picked up in z1b because fault is here but the relay has not received any signal from remote end at station A so Z1B is high this input is 1 whereas this input is 0 because relay at station B is not seeing the fault in Z1 direction in forward direction so in that case this will not trip so it will wait station A relay will wait up to zone 2 so this this breaker at B section B and for example here is a section C will trip in zone 1 time and fault will be clear before zone 2 timer is completed at station A so this was example of permissive underage top trip scheme and it is very simple if you follow this logic diagram this is another example in, in this example this is also one option that instead of using Z1B you can also use Zone 2 which is also similar to Z1B both are can be set independently or depending upon relay Zone 2 can also be used so you can see if there is a fault in Zone 2 okay so signal is sent and if signal is received okay it means that signal is received here and also relay is picked up in zone 2 in the forward direction then relay will trip immediately so this is basically simple diagram so this was all about permissive under transfer trip scheme so the most widely schemes used in the production systems are two that is number one is permissive underage transfer trip scheme and number two is permissive overage transfer trip scheme uh, normally permissive underage transfer trip scheme is used for the long transmission line 
and permissive overage transfer tip scheme is used for the small transmission line for the reason is very simple for the long transmission line for example station a and b the resistance might be 50 ohms and whereas r impedance in this case might be 1 ohm or 2 ohm so it's very easy to discriminate and operate but for the sh uh, shorter line permissive overage transfer tip scheme, scheme is more preferred because for example if the line length is 10 kilometers the ohms will be, will be very less and the uh, arc impedance compared to arc impedance so it's difficult to discriminate uh, the zone 1 and zone 1b so it's very convenient to avoid error uh, that permissive overage scheme is used for the shorter line. So this was all about permissive underage. We will now move to our next section that is permissive overage transfer scheme. Thank you very much.